Exciting news guys, Cursor just released Cursor 2.0 and I've been using its new model and the new Cursor for about 20 hours or so. And in this video, we're gonna do a real world comparison with Cursor and Cloud Code where I will be just testing out the new model and also its new features. I'll make a new full stack app head to head to see what the result is and if it lives to what they claim it can do. As you can see, um, this is the post that they made. They actually announced their first ever model, which is Composer. And that is previously Cheetah, which was, you know, uh, no one knew what it was, but it is out now. And yeah, there were other features like you can do several models at once and just see and compare them side by side, which is very nice uh, for my use case. And of course, they also added the built-in browser where you can just select each component from the, or each element in the page and then just straight away edit it with their agent. And yep, that was, those are like the most notable changes. And as for the model itself, they claim that it is better than the best open source model. Um, we'll see about that. Uh, but yeah, this is like benchmarks they released, which is very vague. Uh, I'm not really sure uh, what they tested it on. And, and, and yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, base it off our real world test and see how it actually is. I'll leave a review at the end also. And these are just some more charts that they made, bro. Like I'm not understanding what these charts mean, um, but yeah. Like it's pretty much just saying that it's not the best <laughs> model, uh, but it is better than a lot of models. But when I used it, it is actually really fast um, and the results are okay. But yeah, I'll just show you guys and yeah, get, you know, you guys can see it for yourself later in the video. And yep, those are pretty much it in this article. Now for the pricing, now this is what I thought was like really interesting. Uh, the pricing always determines uh, whether I would actually use it or not. But as you can see, Composer, costs pretty much the same as GPT-5 and also Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is great because they are on the cheaper side. And of course it is less expensive than Claude 4.5 Sonnet. But I do think that Claude 4.5 Sonnet is still one of the best coding model, if not the best, uh, just for executing uh, codes. We're gonna test it out. I do have already a project that I wanna be building in this video that is from, I, I made all the plans already. It is from Codespace. And it's pretty much a project that we already worked on on this channel. That is an AI account assistant, which is where the assistant will be able to, you know, see what I like, just track my expenses, track my income, and just put it all in the database and also display it in a dashboard, which will look really great. Now, this is the text pack. I have already downloaded it and also the, uh, the docs. I've downloaded them all and I have added it to cursor. And then we also have it on VS Code with Cloud Code because we're gonna test it out, see how they both perform side by side. Now, this is the text pack that it has. Uh, I have just downloaded and I just put it in cursor. And as you can see, I do have Composer 1. Okay, so this is the setup that we are gonna be working with. Uh, so I have Cloud Code open on VS Code on one window and then the other is gonna be on cursor. They are both on identical workspaces, but I have just duplicated the Folder, as you can see here, it is called AI Counter Dashboard 3 because I made another two before. And the other one is three, but it is a copy, as you can see. So the reason why I'm comparing these two tools and models is because they both have this same starting price for the subscription, which is the $20 plan on both of them. And on Cursor, you get you do get a lot of different models. And yeah, you also like, you get like GPT-5, you get plot code, sorry, you get plots on it and like Gemini and all other different models. So, and you can also add your own API keys, but the caveat is you do have to have the subscription and it also has tabs uh, like auto completions, which is, uh, I think like one of the best feature on cursor and for cloud code, I think the main benefit of cloud code, like the main advantage of it is it does have the best like coding model. And in addition to that, um, it does come with like a very, I would say, um, nice schema in terms of like the usage where cursor, it tracks everything based on your usage. Um, and if you run out, uh, it will pretty much just charge you <laughs> based on the usage, um, which is probably like an additional like 30 bucks a month. Um, if you were like me and just keep using Cloud Code, sorry, if using, you keep using like Cloud Sonnet or like GPT-5. Um, but for Sonnet, sorry, for Cloud Code, the rate limits, they come in like five hour limits. And then there's also a weekly limit. When I, I've been using Cloud Code for like three months um, and it was like rate limit, is okay, like five hour rate limits. Uh, I kept reaching them, um, but yeah, like the weekly one, I've never reached it. But yeah, of course, you get pretty much um, the max out of if you're just using Claude Sonnet 4.5, you get the max usage from Claude Code. Um, but with Cursor, you do have to pay per usage once your 20 bucks like usage limit is reached. You can see more in the 
in their docs, but that's pretty much also my experience. And from my experience, the twenty dollar plan on Cursor, when I was using like a lot of different like higher end models, um, I just couldn't fit it in the twenty dollar model or the twenty dollar plan. So I switched to the Pro Plus, which was sixty dollars, and I also had to still use the paper paper use, uh, which usually goes about like until thirty bucks because I kept using Claude Sonnet. But yeah, I'm just that's just a quick comparison and just the reason why I want to compare it. Now let's start with the test. So since we do have already the text pack on both of them, I want to show you guys here. Yep, this is the same text pack, the exact same one. And what I want to do is just start the agents like just working on the same tasks or not the same task, but like the same app. And we'll see how it is. Another important thing I want to note is that they both come with this plan mode, which is a really good addition for both of them. And I'm going to show you guys what it's like. So for Cloud Code, it is pretty simple. Um, but yeah, let's just start first with Cloud Code since I have already had this prompt. So to enable plan mode or to just uh, do some planning, you can hold shift and click tab. And then you can just pretty much cycle through the modes. And then when you're in plan mode, just press enter on your prompt. And then what that does is it'll go through everything. Like you'll go through the code base first and just see what we mean by our prompt and then just uh, compile a quick like review or like summary on what it's going to do. And as for cursor, let me just open that. Cursor has it here and let's just paste in the same exact prompt. And I am going to make sure that this is getting, yep. Okay. So it's getting the link. Now let me just leave that. And for this, let me just documentation. Okay. I don't think it's picking up the um, directory, but that's fine. As for cursor, the planning is here. There is a specific plan mode and let's just try it out. I am going to be using the composer one model, but yeah, there are like these options you can um, choose from. And also you can add your own models uh, with an API key and things like that. So yeah, let's just start this plan mode and let's see if it is finished on Claude code. So, okay. So it is asking for permissions. Let's just enable all permissions. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys like the main difference uh, for Claude Code. Uh, it does ask you some questions just to clarify some things with the plan, which I like. All right, guys. So <laughs> Sonnet 4.5 from Claude Code just finished making the plan. It took a while. Uh, maybe it took like about more than five minutes. Now, Cursor finished it in like two minutes, um, but it did. Yeah, it even made all these to-dos and yeah, all the different like um, attributes, I guess, for the UI and stuff. Um, actually, I mean, sorry, the steps, whereas Cloud Code made it into phases, just pretty much the same thing. But the notable difference was that Cloud Code actually intuitively like asked questions, like clarifying questions, and it was in multiple choice. So I was able to easily just pick uh, what I meant by the requirements, um, which is really nice. And it did just make it into phases uh, without like a detailed overview of the app itself. Uh, whereas the a cursor here, I can see it made like an overview, overview on like each of the steps, uh, which made it very, like a lot more detailed um, with, especially with the to-dos. So those are like the main differences, but yeah, like the speed, this was super quick. Let's just start it by clicking on build. Uh, so I'll do so on cursor. And of course, if you do want to make changes, you can just chat with it. Uh, that's what I usually do with cursor. And with uh, flood code, if you do want to make changes, just um, you, uh, press this, like no, keep planning. And then you can just uh, keep chatting with the plot code agent and like just keep on iterating on the plan. So, but now this looks good. So I'm just going to bypass all permissions and just continue with it. Both cursor and cloud code finished working on the plan. And I have ran the development server on both. So let's just see what cursor is on. So yes, I did try to open up the app itself on or the next uh development server on cursor own browser and there is still a bit of a bug here you can see like i don't know what's wrong but when i close it uh, let's just try opening it again it should get it should be fixed uh but yeah it's a bit buggy and it takes a while to load things like that so i'm just gonna test it out on chrome because <laughs> it's it's working right now so this is the landing page from cursor and now for cloud code i have i'll show you guys what it has done finished everything and here's the summary and I have started the development server along with the Drizzle Studio. So we can see both the Next.js development server and also the database schema and everything on the database. So this this was from Cursor. And then now this one was from Cloud Code. And 
you see there are some differences on cloud code it just goes straight to sign in whereas on cursor it made this whole i guess it just used the landing page from the starter kit because i am using a starter kit from code guide which is the code guide started full stack it is using drizzle rm uh, next js 15 and shad cn with better off uh, you can see the you can use the full stack starter kit in the link in the description um so yeah this is the main difference it's still using kind of like the start kit landing page um you can sign in it's using the same component that's fine so let's just sign up and then we'll log in and we'll continue off from there i've logged in on both cursor's version of the app and also on cloud code's version as you can see there are major differences the main reason is because on cloud code it did ask some several questions to clarify my actual needs and i did say that i want to start off on the chat page and it did do that on cloud code's version uh and you can just yeah okay there's an error but we'll fix that and on cursor it did not go to the chat page it but it went straight to the dashboard uh, but let's just see if it does have the chat page uh, it should have it so let's see okay so it seems that cursor like didn't have any there is a chat interface i see here but i'm not seeing it being used anywhere in the pages so oh okay okay so it's on the main page the home page so let's see that so this is the home page okay nice so you had to log in and then you'll go to the dashboard and you just go back to the home page so now it's the ai um, accountant or like assistant so we can chat with it let's just try a simple prompt hey and the ui looks okay and the okay that's the, the amazing thing is that it's working straight away there are no errors that's really good and yeah let me check the logs if there are any errors so yeah it is a successful response and it should be the ai responding so hey who are you let's just try that should say something along the lines of like i'm an assistant okay that's good so this is already connected that's cursor just went straight away like got everything working whereas hot code kind of messed it up there is there are some errors here but let me just copy the error and then um, try to get it fixed by just pasting it on the cli here let's see got this error on chat page let's just do that and we'll see how it goes so i i did fix the issues finally with plot codes version of the chat uh, it is fixed now, but it was a, like, I did more than three prompts to fix this chat page. And now it's finally working. It's able to do the tool call. So when I ask it to record my expense and income, it does that. And there are a bit of issue here with the UI. Um, let's say yes, just quote it. So yeah, you can see there's a lot of overflow happening. And when the tool calls are being done, it just returns a blank statement. <laughs> so that's a in an issue and but it is recording everything you can see here the transactions and let's just check the one on cursor so cursor i also did some testing um let me just yeah so i'll show you the ui is most like simple it's more simple uh, there are less issues there's no errors so far and the tool calls are working there's just one bug where it can record like multiple um, expenses or like multiple transactions at once you can see it here but overall it is being saved uh, properly um, if you are not like saying a lot of things in one chat, let me just refresh to show you guys the initial chat page. So this is what it looks like. And for, uh, so this is for cloud codes version. Um, the UI here is better, but the functionality, uh, had some issues, uh, which is fixed now. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. <laughs> and whereas this also has some issues with the UI where it was overflowing on here, it did not, but you still had to like scroll down. Um, which is not ideal. So now let's see what the dashboard looks like. So let's just go on this dashboard and here we can go to the dashboard. All right, so you can see the data on, this is on Cloud Code's version and this is on Cursor's version. So I don't see any data actually being fetched. So that tells me there are some errors in the server maybe, or at least with the data fetching. So let me just double check uh, behind the scenes. But yeah, overall, let me just review the UI. It is looking nice here because it used the default starter kits um, components where we had these uh, section cards and also the charts. I'm guessing it's going to add when there are some data. And this one, like, completely ditched it and just made its own. So, Cloud Code made its own, um, like, you know, set of section cards and also the um, the charts itself. And so, the table is very, like, um, I would say it's very uh, simple. Like, it is very bare bones. <laughs> like, it's basic. It's very basic. Um, so yeah, let me just fix the issue on cursor first so you can fetch the data properly. Okay, so cursor fixed the issue with the data fetching. It is fixed now. 
can see the dashboard looks really good because it's using the default starter kit components, which I like. And yeah, we can see the chart is working. Uh, although the expenses, okay, the expense, yeah, this was yesterday's expense. And today's, there is an income. So just compare it by side by side. This is Cursor's implementation, whereas this is the implementation from Cloud Code. There is a chat button here to go to the chat, whereas here you have to go to the homepage, uh, which it doesn't have any button. But yeah, that's overall the result. And yeah, let's just get to the final review and I'll show you guys my thoughts. What do I think of Cursor's new model? I think it's really good, especially since Cursor is a really good IDE with a lot of different tools. Um, and this model is able to access all those tools efficiently. And from the result of the full stack app that we made, uh, Cursor's model was very quick at executing everything. The planning was really smooth and even the execution, there were almost no errors. I mean, yeah, there was only that one issue with the data fetching. And overall, I would say Cursor got this in the bag. It is really good, this this model. Um, the only thing that we need to test out is of course the rate limit, or I would say the like the usage, like how much can, or can you use this Composer 1 model uh, for one month? Like, will it run out? Um, or will we need to, because with Cursor, you will, if it, if it runs out of like uh, usage, you will always have to opt in for the pay per use uh, schema, which you have to pay every time you make an API call, which is not ideal. Where Claude Code, uh, it doesn't do that. You'll have, you'll, you'll just have like a rate limit every five hours and every week. If you reach that, then you just need to wait until like the, the next five hours or like the next week, which is a lot better because, of course, um, it is fixed and you will never go. Um, you know, over the $28 or whatever plan you pay for. And, but yeah, the result was quite disappointing from Cloud Code. Uh, I'm not sure why, but the UI, like it looks pretty bad. Like it is very, it just, it tried to like replace, it did replace everything pretty much. And it just, you know, it wasn't the best. Um, the UI, the chat UI was okay, but there were some issues with it also. And the dashboard, it just completely just made its own, which is worse than starter kits components. I'm not sure why. And yeah, we could see that there was a lot of errors and the errors were actually caused by just, and I think we just wasn't able to know like how to use the AI SDK from MS setup properly. Um, so that was the main issue. So we had to look through the actual like types and stuff from the library itself in the code, uh, which is not efficient. And yeah, of course it just failed and just got that error. And I had to like give it a few prompts to fix it. So overall cursor, I think you guys should give it a try, especially with the free trial. And yeah, like the, the browser, I mean, if it worked, then I, I guess it would be a lot better, but I, I'll guess I'll just try it out later. Yeah, there was just a little bit of bug on my end. Um, but yeah, I think I am going to be using Cursor a lot more, especially with this Composer. It's cheaper than Cloud Code or Cloud Sonnet. And I think it does a lot better for day-to-day -day tasks um, from my experience also because of that speed and that consistency. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoy it, just leave a like. And if you have any feedback or you know have you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Also, I'm just gonna leave the links for all the resources, all the source code that we've used and the starter kit on in the description below. And also, if you want to discuss with us about AI coding, you can do so by joining the Discord in the description below. Thank you.